Hello, hi you guys. Welcome back to my channel. If you are on my channel, Hama Kangsha. So in this video, you read the title already. We are doing my go-to party glam. I think it's one of highly requested videos. I did this glam when I went to an event in Bombay. I'll put the you know video or a picture right here. And this look is um, kind of like. was a surprise for me that i opted for it as well because i have this go to look which i always do no matter what outfit what like you know wherever i am this that's my safe option i always do it and i've always been very comfortable with that look i'll leave a little video of like you know do me doing that look right here but that day i was like i wanted to do something more something nicer something bolder and i generally don't like do like i told you but that day i was like you know can't i just go for it if it's good if it's good if it's bad it's bad but it turned out really nice and i'm so glad i went with that look because i think if i did my everyday like normal type which i generally do it would have been too much basic and it would not give me like you know that extra ness or that addition of glam to my face i'm wearing the same outfit which i wore that day as well so um yeah uh, let's do that makeup look together let's get started So before we get started this video is sponsored by Mantra so all the products i'm going to be using are available on mantra.com all the products will be linked in the description box you can definitely check it out all these products are my ride and dies i've used them for years and years and i really really um I like them i'm going to break down each and every step for you and how i do it and why i do it is well so starting off with a little bit of skin prep going in with the mac uh, fix plus i'm just going to you know add that hydration necessary to the face before we go in and add like you know all the foundation concealer etc this is a very very mandatory step you guys because this really determines how your makeup is going to look and blend into your uh, skin the more juicier or hydrated your skin is the more easily the products are going to get blended into your skin even if you use powders on it they're not going to look dry or like you know they're not going to bunch up or make you feel like dehydrated so that skin prep initially is really important before you start layering on products on your skin now this is a glam look. Look, okay like extremely glam look so extremely glam calls for contour for me and i do like you know um reverse contouring first so i do contouring under my base first and for contouring i'm going in with the la girl pro hd concealer and i'm using the shade toast not toast is a beautiful shade for my complexion i am an nc14 mac you'll, which you'll be seeing in a minute but i'm just going to take this on my hand like i like to take all the products on the back of my hand first irrespective of what it is especially like not especially just cream products not powders of course so i always apply cream products on my hand first and then i go ahead with this a brush and warm it up and then apply it this way it's just going to blend on really easily it's really easy to apply it does not like you know apply patchy or weird you can see like you know i didn't have to do a lot of work just like little bit and just blend that into the skin i don't blend it completely i leave it until this point because again i want it to peep through the foundation right if i completely blend it off um i mean i think again i'll have to reapply it so you know just apply as much as you can slightly blend blend it into your skin it's one of my favorite concealer good thing is that they have a lot of options color options shade options so you can really find your shade you can see like how i'm bronzing my face i literally like pull everything together the entire perimeter i applied that way my face is going to like you know only catch attention in the center and this part is going to like you know get covered up and look more lifted if that makes sense it's that's the reason behind it uh, and that is the how it makes sense okay i know if i'm saying that if it makes sense but it makes sense and that's why it makes sense okay moving on The reason I do this is like you know if I apply cream contour or cream bronzer on top of my foundation it does look good but I have to be so careful to not overdo it because it might look harsh it might look like you know um a little patchy if I don't blend it properly I need to be really careful like that but if I do it under my base now it kind of just like gets beautifully blended into the foundation and gives me a very natural contour like you can't really see like a harsh line which generally tends to happen if i'm using like you know um 
on top of my foundation so anyways this is where i leave it moving on to foundation i'm going in with this is the mac studio skin foundation and i'm in the shade nc uh, 40 i'm just going to quickly apply this on again one of my favorite foundation it's og and it's the best irrespective of your skin type skin color skin texture i think this is a foundation you which will like you know look good on everybody it's made and it's og for that reason i really love this one i use it almost like every single uh, day the only thing i hate about is that this does not come with a sponge uh, which complain always but i mean what what else can we do so foundation also like you can apply it so foundation i go ahead and apply it directly only right here i mean you could apply it by your hand and sometimes i'm just like lazy and like you know I, 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 but I actually know how much better to apply, where to apply. So for me, it's fine if I directly go with it. But I would suggest for you to still like, you know, warm it up and ta -da -da. See how I'm concentrating the product only right like on the cheeks first because like I want my marks for Gera to get covered and then I'll move on to the contour and blend the foundation into the contour. And make sure you're subscribed to Mintra's YouTube channel. The key to flawless makeup is blending you guys like as long as you take your time to blend properly your blaze is going to look like flawless again i'm going in back with the brush which i use my uh, you know to blend my contour i'm not taking anything excess what is there on it is more than enough to just like blend the foundation and contour together so that again no harsh lines it's beautifully blended into the skin So next for concealer, I'm going in with the Maybelline Instant Age Rewind Concealer. I'm using two shades uh, because first I like to like conceal my under the eyes and then I like to highlight it. That way it just um, it's going to look more nicer and there's a less chance that it'll look grey. I don't really correct color correct because you can see I don't have like a lot of pigmentation. If you do have a lot of pigmentation, then definitely go ahead and color correct. I can literally just apply my color concealer and just go in with a little lighter hand and lighter one and it look really nice so i'm going in with butterscotch first this is really my like exactly my skin tone so i'm just going to twist it the main point like the main key point or the main point to apply your concealer is right in this inner corner you guys this just makes everything like look so awake your entire face is going to like you know change can you see how highlighted that made compared to you know this one again going ahead and applying right here i'm going a little heavy handed with this concealer because it does give like a medium coverage uh compared to like the other ones i'm used to which are like full full coverage this gives a little more natural finish so even if i go heavy handed it's fine but if you're using like full full coverage one then don't apply this um much i'm going to leave it as is again because the creamy one it does get blended after some time as well and i want a little more uh coverage but meanwhile i'm going to go ahead and use my blush and for blush i'm using the daughter earth uh, lip and cheek tint in the shade coral nude it's again one of my favorite favorite like cream products to use again i love to any cream product i would advise to like first take on your brush warm it up on your hand this way like you know the color just kind of spreads out really evenly and then you can like you know dab on your skin I want something a little more warmer so I'm going with the same blush but in the shade eternal flame just to like you know add a little bit of warmth now I go ham with the blush okay so don't get scared but I do blend it out easily and in the end it does look put together uh, uh, right now at this point I do look like a joker I'm very very aware of that fact but just Hold on for a minute. So this is a full, full glam face, okay? So I'm no, in no way claiming that this is like natural, your 
natural looking or like you know your skin but better kind of look this is going to look like makeup it is going to look contoured chisel you're going to see foundation concealer everything because it's like a full heavy heavy uh, glam but for events and like stuff like that it looks really beautiful don't mind my dog barking he has mood swings but anyways uh, moving on um, this is like a blended face now you can see my face is extremely like bronzed and all and it really needs some highlight so I'm going in again the Maybelline concealer concealer and I'm adding the shade medium just going to add it right under this like halo of my eye this hollow of my eye this one I am going to add it right here little bit here and little bit here that's it I'm not adding a lot I just need the light to reflect on these areas but I don't need it to look like heavy so I'm just going again with my concealer brush so this is a brush which broke and I'm just using like that so it's not a tiny brush uh, I'm just like going ahead and tapping right there concentrating especially in those areas because you know, can you see that difference like that part it also comes into the nose contouring a little bit so this like does the job for both Now again, going in back with the foundation brush to just make sure everything is blended together. So next for uh, powder, I'm going in with the MAC Studio Skin. Again, this is in the shade NC40. This is one of the best ones, especially if you're going to get photograph or like you really want that highlight contour face because you might mean, let me just show you why to just like, you know, say I'll show um, i'm taking this powder puff i have i'm going in dabbing it taking a little bit now this again is a little heavy duty product it does look like makeup it is a little heavy but the way it highlights your under eye you guys i mean it's just beautiful these days especially for videos also like when i'm like filming and i want that extreme bright and sharp under eye can you see how bright that me and my under eye compared to this now this also does not give you much flashback because it's a colored uh, powder it's like your skin tone but maybe a little lighter but compared to like a translucent or a white white powder this just highlights it so beautifully but at the same time like i don't know i think just highlights you beautifully and looks really nice as well and sets your makeup yes now i do i do go in with a little little, little heavy hand then i go ahead with like a brush and just dust that off and then i go in with like a very light layer all over the face and i go in with a very light layer all over the face Can you see like all nice and highlighted and moving on to bronzer I'm going in with the Benefit Hoola bronzer again beautiful one just gets blended beautifully into the skin going in with a fluffy brush again tapping off the excess on my hand I don't want it to be too heavy I'm going on top of my blush with it so that it kind of blends into the blush and the blush is not that harsh and it kind of gives me the warmth as well same thing on this side adding it right on top of my cheekbones not under it just on top a little bit into my hairline a little bit on my jaw then going to shift to a little tinier brush and i'm going to go in with the same thing on my nose see the, how much difference like a good bronzer makes like beautiful next for blush i'm going in with the makeup revolution reloaded blush and this is in the shade coral dream now this is intensely pigmented so i'm going to go with a very very light hand taking a little fluffy brush tapping off the excess 
again going on top of the cheekbone do you see that like little goes a really long way so be really careful with this uh blush but i love like i love that color on my cheeks so i do go with like a little heavy hand probably like an average person would not like this much of color but i honestly really love it i just feel like it adds so much to my face uh without blush i just feel so dead and bland and with blush i'm like i'm all ready to go to my party okay um so i'm going to spritz again my face with the mac fix plus just going to set everything in place before i go in and apply like highlighter i also like doing this because like i feel like the highlighter the swab gets blended into the skin really easily because the skin is like nice and wet it grabs onto it but it also like kind of um, you know gives that extra nice creamy uh, highlighted look if, if if i apply highlighter without doing setting spray it kind of feels so like um grainy and dry and does not look the same so i'm always like i think since past 2 years i never apply my highlighter before i like you know do my setting spray it's always after i'm just going to this is just to <laughs> fanning myself making it dry down please dry down honey next i'm going in with the ofra highlighter this is in the shade rodeo drive really nice champagne shade for me highlighter always has to be little golden eel champagne a plain white like i see one doesn't really suit my skin tone it's just going to end up making it look a little gray if i'm going even for pink it's like it's good for photos and some some sometimes because of the look like if i apply really pink blush or something it look nice but other than that like for like a going out stuff i always go in with something champagne so i'm going to go ahead add that right here add a little bit right here then i take a head go ahead and clean the brush off and then i'm just going to go ahead and blend that out if i don't clean the brush off whatever excess is there on the brush is also going to get onto my skin which is going to make it um, you know apply a lot of highlighter on my skin and i uh, exaggerate texture which i don't really need this way i just apply as much as i want and uh, blend it into the skin and make it not look like it's like a harsh line next i'm going to go ahead and take a tiny brush apply right on the nose bridge I, so first i'm going again with the benefit precisely my brow uh, pencil just combing it through i don't really do much for my brows i just keep it as minimal as possible because you know i already have pretty thick brows there's just this one gap i have right here which because i got chicken pox on right there when i was like a kid and you know so the hair never like grew back there so that's the one spot i feel and just kind of even out both the sides and yeah that's about it again i don't do much it if i do even like a slightest bit extra to my brows it they look like block brows and it kind of is really like you know it, it it's kind of a pet peeve for me to have like blocky brows because the, and it's also a nightmare or a trauma because i used to have it and now i'm like i really don't want to like if i look back at my brows initially when i started doing makeup i literally used to use eye shadow as my brows you guys and it was a very very dark time and i do not like it and i do not appreciate it and i do not want it again okay so uh, i'm going in back with my maybelline concealer i'm just going to apply it on the eyebrow so that i can carve it out so first i'm going to go ahead and use the same bronzer which i used on my face for my eyelids as well so i apply it right here blend it outwards into my brow basically at that um definition and kind of blend it in so now i did show you the picture of how my eyes were like they kind of do look like they're just like two black lines like 
kajal liner but there's a lot of detailing that i did and in person you can really see how um it looks but unfortunately i did not click any selfies but now you're going to see actually what i did to my um eyes so first what i did is i did like a smoky liner and then i went ahead and added a precise liner this just amped it up so much you'll just see what i uh, mean so i'm going to go ahead and use this lacme iconic eyeliner in the shade um deep black and i'm going to first add it right on the edge i was so scared when i was doing this look you guys because i've never done this and i don't really know how it was going to turn out and i had an event to go to I'm like if this turns out bad because i generally don't like kajal especially in my waterline i don't apply it i don't know for what gut i was like akanksha go for it but i'm glad i did and it did like you know work out so sometimes you need to like you know stop your inhibitions and like you know go for it so i'm just going to like you know add it right here keys don't really go very heavy with your kajal because a little goes a really long way just apply a little and then use the same thing to kind of blend everywhere i really want the most definition to be on my edges because i want my eyes to like you know look really nice and sultry like lifted and stuff so i'm just adding lot of you know color right here i'm just going to go ahead and blend it make it like a wing i'm going to add the same thing on the waterline as well does the process it is it'll get there you will get there we'll get to a place where we really like i told my same self the same thing that day because at a point i was actually like i don't think i really like this one next i'm going to go ahead and take like mix these two browns and i'm going to go ahead and blend that black further Okay and that's it like from here on it's all about like blending you guys go ahead especially the lower lash line i really spent like so much time i li i don't like that straight harsh line of kajal hence that's the reason i don't really apply kajal very often i don't like 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 that look so i took so much time to blend this every time i like smoke out my lower lash line it's really important that it looks very blended to me on camera you can't really tell a difference of how blended it is but i really take like a minute or two to just you know do this motion under the eye so that it's blended as much as possible it looks as smoky on the bottom line uh, lash line as possible i'm just going to again go ahead and blend that even more i will blend it as long as i can physically next i'm going ahead and using this lenfo beauty eyeliner i love this one it's so precise and thin so this way i kind of get that in a corner liver reverse liner really beautifully now the reason behind adding this is because i mean this does look nice but i want a little bit more um a little more more definition but only with the liner it just looks really sharp and uh bland this way the, the smokiness of the liner is there but also the precision of this liner is also there so it's like a combination of both which makes this look a lot lot better so what i do is i just generally like you know go ahead and add it on i just go ahead and add a wing right on the edge what did i tell you it just looks really nice now still not over okay don't hit me but still not over i'm going to go ahead again use the dark brown and the light brown and i'm going to again blend it on top of this i'm going to use this dark brown more and a little bit of this 
again blend 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 i'm not going to touch the wing um, much but like the rest i want to like you know smoke it out a little more now i'll just take like a cleaner brush and now i'm just going to take only the like lighter shades i'm going to blend on top just kind of creating the black brown and uh, light brown kind of thing right here do you see that the black the light brown and then the dark brown just like you know with this gold outfit it looked bomb af and i'm going to do the same thing now on the lower lash line as well i'm going to add a little more softer color all right almost uh, done okay next what i'm going to do is for lashes i'm taking these are like random lashes you get for 100 to 100 i'm just like you know going to take this and chop off in the um, you know after like the two fourth or two third of the part I'm just going two fourth two fourth is half a kanksha two third of the lash basically i'm just going to keep the ending just going to chop, chop. So these are like inexpensive lashes so you don't even feel bad or like the heart does not break when you're actually chopping it off because I like come on lashes are so damn expensive and to like chop them off in between it's kind of like am I ready for it. So anyways uh, first I'm going to go ahead and curl my lashes now usually when I apply lashes I first apply lashes and then do mascara but like when I'm doing like a tiny like lash like what I'm going to do right now I, go, I like to go in with mascara first. First. Uh, the reason being uh, once you apply your lashes you can't really uh, apply mascara and coat your lashes like thoroughly as how you can do before um, your what do you say wearing lashes and I love like every single thing to be coated especially because I'm only applying in this edge I need this entire thing to be nicely coated so even though it's a little difficult to apply lash after doing mascara for this particular technique I do it before because it's just on the edge it's kind of is not that difficult compared to applying like a full full lash so for mascara I'm going in with the benefit bad girl bang mascara beautiful mascara like if you're looking for length of your lashes in a mascara then you have to like definitely try this one just gives such long lashes I love love this one so much like it literally makes it look like I have like false lashes on. Like do you see that what I'm saying like this look at this so beautiful it makes my lashes so long. So I take that teeny tiny lash and I apply it. Make sure it's a little tacky though. I'm going to apply it right on the end of my lash. And I just apply it right there, you know. So like now when I open my eyes, can you see like there's a lot of volume on the edge. And it makes my eye look nice and elongated. Like while placing the lash also, I don't place it like downwards. I place it upwards like you can see from down to I place it up. I don't bend it down. And then I'm going ahead. I'm going to go back in with my um, Ofra highlighter I'm going to go in with a tiny brush again I'm just going to pick that up and highlight the inner corner again makes such a difference like this just brings everything together something I've been doing recently is applying it right here as well just like kind of brings a nice attention to that you know I see 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 so pretty adding it right on the call brow bone I have mac lip liner i went in with a very nude lip it's um you know super comfortable for me so yeah guys that's about it this is the finished look i hope you guys 
like it i hope you recreate it if you do then do tag me or share with me or send me on like you know dm or anything i would love 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 to see so again all the products i use will be linked in the description box all the products are available on mintra so definitely check them out this video shout out goes to lokita swami thank you lokita for always loving and supporting it absolutely means the world to me if you want to be part of next video shout out then all you have to do is comment below and use the hashtag aks and you can be a part and yeah that's it for this video Meanwhile, like, share, and subscribe to my channel. I will see you guys in my next video. Bye.